All right, jumping into Turtle Pack for a change. I rarely ever play it these days, I guess partly because there's just very few things to do in it now that I haven't done already. But today we are going to do something I've not done before, which is try and replicate a customs build in Turtle Pack. So the other day I put out the Poison Dart Frog video, I think that was Thursday. And while I was editing it, I thought, I wonder how close I could get to this in Turtle Pack only. I suppose there are a lot of players who are only on the free to play. And so, you know, maybe they do enjoy watching custom pack runs, but it's maybe a little bit frustrating that the builds can't be replicated um, in Turtle Pack. And I guess you, you can do them in weeklies, but of course you need the, the luck with particular pets appearing in the, in the pack. So I thought, yeah, we can probably get something similar to the uh, Poison Dart Frog plus Wolverine sandwich from the last video. And uh, in order to do that, we're gonna need the snake. And snake is obviously vastly superior to Poison Dart Frog. Dart Frog requires that the pet in front faints before it shoots, and uh, snake doesn't care. <laughs> snake will shoot every time the pet in front attacks, which is uh, very, very good. And it's probably one of the most underrated uh, tier 6 units. It's also weirdly one of the pets I think that has never been changed. So in Turtle Pack almost every unit has been um, changed. In fact if you look on the screen just now all of the five units in my team here have been uh, changed. Okay we do have two giraffes but giraffe uh, used to have different stats. Dodo has had m many many changes. Beaver now gives uh, attack on cell and uh, spider now spawns units that are um, of higher stats so we'll pill the spider here and we'll get uh, a 4-4 four, four unit whereas previously it used to be 2-2 um, two, two, regardless of which level the spider was. So I'm going to freeze the penguin. I'm just uh, buffing the dodo because I know I'm going to end up with a little bit of an unusual combo at the end so I need some kind of unit from the early game that I can keep all the way to the end uh, that's going to be, uh, you know, that's going to give my team a, a good backbone. And that was a, a 1 HP loss there, which is a little bit unfortunate. We'll take the level on the giraffe. And then um, I'm going to buy the cow. And we'll just uh, have the giraffe buff the cow, although I think I'll probably have to get rid of it sooner or later. This video was only recorded the other day, but I can't exactly remember the uh, the full team composition at the end. Uh, I guess we'll discover that at the same time. But yeah, the, uh, I mentioned it in the Dart Frog video that you know you can put uh, Wolverine at the front with Dart Frog and then put a mushroom on the Wolverine to get uh, two triggers from it. Two triggers from the Dart Frog, that is. Uh, however, you know, it's just, uh, the, the damage output just uh, isn't all that great. However, with Snake, um, we're also not targeting the uh, opposing unit with the highest health, so we're much more likely to be able to kill something, especially in the back line, you know, turkeys, flies, uh, parrots, uh, tiger even, I guess. And uh, so now at the moment we're just concentrating on statting up the, the dodo, and here I was thinking about monkey. I think uh, because I'm on three hearts and I'm getting close to the end, um, Maybe I'm going to put the monkey in and then just put Dodo up front. No, we're just going to take the level. We do find the Wolverine. So um, I'm going to put the Wolverine up front next turn, I think. And then we can use the monkeys to buff it a little bit. In the previous video, having the buffed up Wolverine didn't make a huge difference. Um, it's probably unlikely that I'm going to be able to buff the Wolverine up to a point that it's going to kill stuff unless it's a summon team. But in with, with Snake... You know, all you want is for the Wolverine to be able to survive multiple hits. And uh, if we can get its health up to a decent amount and um, put a melon on it, we can potentially get multiple uh, hits off or shots off from the snake. Um, which is uh, obviously going to be very beneficial. We want to maximize the number of snipes. Of course, if you have Mushroom on the Wolverine and the front unit isn't big enough to kill then you're still going to get multiple uh, shots from the snake. I think here I level up the uh, monkey in order to look for more snakes and wolverines and we get the, the pairing that we want. 
And I think here, yeah, I'm going to put the snake up front and let the um, monkey buff it for a, a little while. The Because we're going to need two wolverines in the end, the one that's getting buffed could also potentially be in the middle just to protect it from, from getting sniped. And uh, I think we're going to end up um, triggering this hippo too many times. Although the... Yeah, we are actually going to win. That's kind of unfortunate. I think I was probably hoping to uh, to lose there in order to get some more scaling onto the, the snake and the wolverine. And now I'm just rolling down. I'm on nine. There's a fly. Now fly is another option for trying to get an extra snake trigger. So we're going to move the dodo right to the back to try and increase our chances of throwing. And uh, I need to find another wolverine which we're uh, unfortunately not doing at this point. However, with this setup, and th there's a mushroom, so I'll freeze that. With this setup, setup front snake, we've on turn 12, although we do have a reasonably strong team, um, having the biggest units at the back does mean that we're more likely to end up uh, losing. And yeah, you can see here, the monkey with a 28 attack would have you know, made so much difference further up the order. So having it right at the back definitely uh, hurt me there. So I'm on two hearts and I obviously am conscious that I could try and throw again, but I think here I decide to just go for it and try and find the last Wolverine, which fortunately I get on the uh, second last roll. Uh, not second last roll. Uh, I guess I had two rolls left there. So we'll bring the Wolverine in and I'm keeping the snake in chocolate frozen. The fly means that we we'll, should get another trigger from the snake. So here's the setup. They have monkey at the front with a low attack, which is going to give two shots to the snake. We instant kill the fly and the rooster. The, the boosts from the wolverine mean we're doing 11 damage from a level one snake. And uh, I actually really like this team, the opposing team. The fact they had tiger, dog, that's something that you very rarely see. So um, props to them, but I think that just shows the strength of Snake, really, that uh, we didn't really need the units at the back. All right, here's a repeat of a clip from the uh, Poison Dart Frog video. And uh, the reason I wanted to include this is because there was a very astute comment that pointed something out in this particular battle that I did not notice at the time of recording the commentary. And so maybe you can uh, watch the, the following battle and see if you can spot it. And then afterwards we'll uh, slow it down. So this was a run where I got to nine wins. I think I had the full setup with the double Wolverine inside the Beluga, but um, the Leopards end up killing the uh, Emu and it's game over. But now if we slow it down, you'll see something very rare indeed, which is Tiger triggering on the first Leopard. Then the Dart Frog triggers, moves the Leopard, and now the second leopard gets the benefit of the tiger as well. I'm not sure if I've ever seen that before. I guess front uh, second position eggplant is not that common, but uh, I really appreciate uh, John who pointed that out. Very interesting, and uh, I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I didn't spot it. 